So if you want to catch the Xiaomi SU7 in person, come down to KLCC anywhere from now until the 20th of October to see this car in person. I would suggest you guys to come early because it can get crowded really fast. Not everyone can just come in. You still have to queue up. So do come early. Okay, right up the front, we have the very signature Xiaomi SU7 look, which has resemblance to well, you know which car, I'm not going to mention it. Uh, at the side, we have big 21-inch wheels. And we have a sensor right there. And also there, and also underneath the side mirrors. And this is the look of the LED headlamps. Very sexy, very nice. Uh, real air vents on the sides as well. And then we have more sensors right in front. There is a camera right there. And a big, huge Xiaomi logo inside of the car. You don't actually pull. You, there is a button inside of the handle that you just click. Um, single glazing mirror. Inside we have soft closed doors. Very similar to Tesla. We have a button here to open the door. And then here we have the windows. Right on. And then you have a little compartment here to put, I guess, cards or coins. Not felt underneath here, but we do have a little bit of rubber padding. This is the manual lever for opening the car. If, uh, similar like you get on Tesla. So you have this little button here. I'm not sure if it's meant to be here for a, a certain purpose, but you have it there. Um, very nice, soft touch, a little soft touch. I guess it's leather or thick leather. Um, you have a button to open the glove box right here. Space-wise, it's decent. Then, space-wise, it's okay here. Um, adjustable seats. Then you have copy holders here. A big storage area here. Charging with air condition. Very smooth. After all, they are they do smartphones. So then we have yeah, your usual apps here, Bluetooth function. Uh, still very much like your typical smartphone or tablet. And up front here, you have uh, hazard lights, SOS. I think that's probably an emergency call button feature. Switching off your camera, I guess. Then you have white lights, soft close white lights. Everything is Alcantara feeling. And I assume big mirrors, super huge mirrors. Very nice. And you have, oh, very nice door handles. Oh, this door handle is super nice. Definitely what you, like, what you get in more high-end cars. Very nice. And you have this um, nut, nut design that you see all over the car. I guess that's one of their design language. So overall nice. Let's head to the back. Uh, spacious. And I believe here is where you can fit uh, a Xiaomi device. The, the design of the chairs is of course beautiful. Um, overall feels solid. Um, yeah, seats uh, ventilated, looks good. Uh, then you have air conditions here. Overall, very nice, very nice view from here. Uh, you have two USB ports. Yeah, I think overall it feels good inside, spacious. Uh, a fist and a half of space. So yeah, overall space-wise, very nice. Let's move on to the back. You can see this is the boot button. Boot space-wise, decent. Uh, you don't have a lot of space here. And then, you know, no spare tire and you just have a little bit of space like that. Not a lot of space underneath, surprisingly. I guess that will do. Uh, light design. Brake lights, very sexy. You have this, this curved one big bar of light here that curves around at the side and then you have this infinity type look. Charging port, driver's seat right now, coming in. Okay, very nice. Let's see, this button's right here. Temperature, oh, feels good. This button feels good, solid, oh. Uh, I like how you have physical buttons uh, in this display for your air conditions. I think this is a very, very nice touch. I like it. I like, I like, I would, I can so get used to this. I think one of the re, one of the things that I really dislike about my Tesla is I only can control my, my air conditions 
through the screen without physical buttons. But this is actually a very nice touch to how I would I wouldn't mind controlling my air condition buttons this way. Um, steering wheel feels great, solid. Of course, this is uh, very similar to other uh, Porsche design. You can see, but overall feels great. Oh, it's manual. Oh, very decent size. There you have it, guys. The Xiaomi X7.